Hey guys, welcome back to a slightly different Let's Build. Now there's a Yog Labs episode coming out to do with Robocop, and I've never really built statues before, and I'll need some practice for when I build the Dwarves of Erebor, so I figured I would build a giant statue of Robocop. So, I set about putting down the foundations for a platform to build my Robocop statue on. Now to start with I considered building just like a large Minecraft model player. When you look at the Minecraft model itself, the, uh, the model for a player, it's very blocky, which means it's very simple and easy to build in Minecraft. So I took the idea of how many pixels there were in the skin for the model, and then using each block as a pixel, I doubled the size and put down two rough feet you see here in green and blue wool. And then I built the platform around those feet large enough to hold the entire statue. Now the Yog Labs texture pack is a pretty cool one. It's got lots of cool sci-fi additions to the original Sfax texture pack. So I found some pretty cool yellow and black danger blocks as well as some interesting white marble effect blocks. But I made the platform itself out of birch wood. So now with the platform complete, I started to put down my statue of Robocop, which was again originally based on a Minecraft player model. Now the thing is, to do this I had to match the skin's texture that I was copying from, a Robocop skin, with blocks that were as close as possible to the skin's color. And while at first this seemed okay and probably doable, the truth is I didn't really have the blocks or the color range to recreate the Robocop skin in a statue in Minecraft. So what I did was I thought, you know what, to hell with it, I'm gonna go full sculpture mode and make an actual humanoid model. So I erased the original Minecraft model and started to build the feet of Robocop. Now there's a really cool texture for shiny steel in the Yog Labs texture pack, in the Sfax texture pack. So I started by mapping out the feet, taking the right foot first, which is on the left here you see. I went up as far as the knee, using the black, because when you look at the Robocop model, it's a black underskeleton surrounded in that silver, shiny kind of chrome armor. So once I had the first leg up to about as far as the thigh, I copied that over to the other side. And from there, built a white skeleton inside the legs. Now I put the legs down. So from there on, I started to build the pelvis. And what building the skeleton gave me was a structure to work on, much in the way 3D modelers might build a skeleton out of like wireframe and then attach clay to the outside. I used white blocks, which is kind of fitting because it's almost bone, to build the rough shape and the rough bone structure of what will become my Robocop statue. Now I went as far as the shoulders and the lower chin because the arms I will do later, they're not that important. What was most important was getting the exact shape right for the statue. So then I started to use these black dark wool blocks to flesh out that skeleton, to add some, some muscle and some, and some actual fat to the bones, to add some meat. But one thing I had to be careful of was keeping it too flat. It's very easy to build a very flat statue in Minecraft because it's, it's a block based game and you're very scared of giving depth to something because it can distort the shape and look a bit bad if you don't build it big enough. One of the things when you're building things in Minecraft is the bigger you go, the easier it becomes because your smallest unit of measurement gets, well, much smaller. And much like when you're, say, drawing in 2D, in uh, perhaps a paint program, when you're working with, with smaller pixel art, it becomes much harder to build something that looks cool and detailed. So again, I've done the back muscles, the pelvis, and the chest now. 
and then I was roughly modelling out the head with more of this black wool. But again, because I wasn't actually attaching the armour to this, I wasn't too worried about getting the face structure and shape perfectly correct. The most important thing was just getting a good head shape. And again, the key to building a statue in Minecraft is getting the proportions correct. Once you put down the legs, you set yourself a scale that you've got to pretty much stick to. And one of the things, like when you're drawing people in real life, often when people draw, the, uh, draw people, they, they find that the arms, they don't draw them long enough. Everybody imagines your arms go down to your, your waist. But if you actually hold them down to your side, they often go down as far as almost the knees. So again, I came around to the side here and I'm modeling the Robocop's hands here for his right hand out of the black wall again. And now with everything almost complete, with the whole statue almost fully fleshed, I started to use these iron blocks to texture out his armor plates. Now I had a reference image that I checked on Google Images, which was just basically a picture of Robocop. And then using that, I mapped out where the armor plates are on his body. Now most of them are on the outside of his body. The inside leg is pretty much armor free. And also the inside arm underneath the armpit and, uh, and on the, uh, the under underarm is mostly free of armor as well. Which makes sense because when you wear a suit of armor, you need the joints to be loose so that you can actually move in the thing. So I came to the parts that would need flexibility like the ankle, the knee, and of course the, uh, the pelvis. and made sure there was enough black wool showing underneath to give the impression that the joints were free. Then I had to come up to his chest plate here, his breast plate, and start to add iron to this. Now, one of the problems with the front of his body is the pectoral muscles right there on the front of his chest are slightly wrong, so I had to modify those a little bit, which you'll see me do later. But before I did that, I came around to the arm. Now, his left arm is going to be holding a gun, but his right one is going to be holding nothing. And now it was time to add his chrome helmet to the top of his head here, you see. Come around the side and add more plating to his back. But again, his breastplate kind of stops just north of his stomach so that you can see kind of his, his kind of robotic six pack. And I had to be sure to leave that open. Now the arms look slightly straight, so I had to modify the elbow joint to make sure you could see that he does actually have an elbow. He's not like some weird tentacled freak. And then again, I came around to the front of Robocop and replaced some of the wool with a darker gray texture to give the impression of those kind of, you know, ab lines and that hard muscle definition that you know Robocop has underneath that chrome armor. Now again, I came around to model the hand and the wrist of his left hand, and then I built this very crude gun out of I don't know what, because one thing with the texture pack is you get a lot of blocks that don't have the right name. For example, the steel that you see me there that I built Robocop's armor from isn't actually called iron blocks. It's called something like, I don't know, it could even be cobblestone. Now I came around to his face and gave him that classic red visor. And then I wanted to put pistons inside his mouth. And there you can see me pulling a lever to push the pistons up and down to make his mouth work. And there we go. We're pretty much fully complete with our statue of Robocop. Oh, doesn't he look like a badass? I can just imagine him storming into Yog Labs to tackle on a giant Ed 209 statue. Dead or alive, you're coming with me, criminal scum. So there he is, complete with his gun, his chrome armor, and as you can see, his modified front armor with the pectoral muscles given a bit more shape. Now it's pretty much complete, but something wasn't quite right. His armor's nice and chrome, but to match with the new movie coming out, I figured why not make it a little bit more tactical and switch him over to black and streamline that visor a bit to make it, li a little bit, to make it look a little bit more like the new movie. So yeah, check out the new movie, I think 12th of February. This has been a very different Let's Build where I built Robocop. Hit like and favorite and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.